Yes, second row on the left row. How you doing, Mark Stallworth, Miami Times? Uh, you're down uh, two games of one in this series. Uh, first home, uh, well, first loss in this playoff, well, in the finals uh, since nine years. And how does it feel? What's the emotions in the locker room? How are you guys going to improve uh, for Friday? We feel great. We didn't play our best tonight. Uh, I feel like we just got to come out with more energy and effort, and um, that's correctable. That's on us as a, as a group. No X's and O's can fix that. So, you know, come out, dive on the floor, get loose balls, get defensive rebounds, and um, maybe, just maybe, it would have been a different game. We're going to go to the right side, first row. Cooper Moorhead, Heat.com. Jimmy, you, you and Bam combined to shoot 10 of 30 in the paint tonight. Did you feel like most of the attempts were shots that were in your wheelhouse, or was there something Denver was doing paint defense-wise that, that kind of hurt a little bit? I can only speak for myself, and I just just missed some that I, I normally make, you know, along with Bam, too. But um, we're going to continually take those, getting two feet in the paint. Um, if you can get a shot up, um, get it up. If, if you can't, get it out to your shooters. Uh, I think we did a, a good job with that. Um, maybe we do have to do a better job of finishing, but uh, those are the same shots that we're going to get next game, and we're expected to take and make those. On the far right, first row. Anthony Chang, Miami Herald. You, you two guys are kind of the two primary defenders most of the time on that pick and roll with Jamal and, and Jokic. What, what makes that pick and roll just so unique and you know so effective like it was tonight? Uh, <clears throat> one, uh, you know, Jokic can pass. Uh, and, you know, Jamal is looking to score. I feel like that's what makes it so dynamic. We're going to go to the left side in the back. Jimmy, Nick Friedel, ESPN. You guys got out rebounded 58-33. You mentioned the effort. Why do you think it was so lacking tonight? I don't know. I can't answer that. Uh, maybe, you know, we're at home. We think we did something. I, I don't know. It just can't happen. It won't happen again. It starts with myself. Um, you know, I got to lock in on a defensive end. I got to go up and, and, and get loose balls. So um, I think if I start playing and doing that, then everybody else has to follow suit. We're going to go to the right side in the back, fourth fourth row. Yes. Uh, hi, Jamie from uh, China Migu. When when Nuggets play pick and roll and with Jogic, and we kind of like uh, double a lot, come, do you think that is good strategy for tonight? Uh, I don't know. We're going to get back to the film and, and figure it out because uh, we do have to be better guarding both of those guys. Um, one is the ball handler, one is the guy that's setting the screen and popping and rolling. Um, it, it's not an easy task to do, but, you know, if we want to win, we're going to have to figure it out. We're going to go to the middle, third row. Sorry about that. Uh, Rohan Arkney, Sports Illustrated. Um, Denver's really successful at kind of running off misses. It's like they get transition opportunities, even when you guys aren't necessarily turning over the ball. What's the key to, to slowing them down when Jokic grabs a rebound and wants to run? What's kind of the first thing you have to do to, to stop them from running out like that? Uh, all five guys get back. Uh, I feel like that eliminates the transition. <clears throat> Everybody get back, load to the ball, and then uh, we figure it out from there. We're going to go to the first row in the middle. Will Giller from The Athletic, uh, you've talked to all players about how you're more than happy to get off the ball, allow your teammates to do them. I think you were around like 21, 22 shots at the end of the third quarter. What were you seeing that made you feel like you want to just be a little bit more assertive with your shot tonight? Two feet in the paint. Um, shoot the shots that I know that I can make. Uh, stay aggressive. Uh, it's the same thing. I, th I think if um, guys are open, uh, like I said, I always got to pass it to him. I will continually do that. But if I get too fit in the paint, um, I'm expected to shoot a layup or a floater, and I'm expected to make it too. We're going to go left side, second row. Uh, Bam, you in the midst of an historic comeback playoff run. You somehow bring the game to within nine points, half uh, 90 seconds to go. And the arena's half empty. I'm sorry for this question, but isn't that disappointing? Uh. I mean, I, I'm in a game, so I'm not I'm not really focused on fans leaving. Uh, I'm really focused on <clears throat> can we get a stop, can we score, and then uh, see if we can come back in this game with 50 seconds left. Right side, third row. 
to Mary Zarley from Clutch Points. Uh, Jimmy D or Bam, I guess. Uh, did you guys notice that they made a concerted effort to kind of take Max out of the game, especially when he had those four uh, four threes in the first quarter last game? I mean, <clears throat> they look at film. Uh, they definitely watch the game plan. And, uh, you know, the biggest thing for us is watch film and see how we can get Max open again. Last question. Okay, thank you, gentlemen. All right, appreciate you. So I have my people.